Hello viewers, I just want to do a quick video about the most common issue these days on this N57 except the timing chains and the, and the bearings uh, this issue is really common seen and a lot of people are asking me what is happening that's why I'm going to film this quick video actually this video is going to be just a part out of the full series which I'm going to do about this engine uh, because this engine is the N57Z with the two tur turbochargers 313 horsepower. This engine completely failed. It has a spun bearing. So let me show you where it was. Uh, yeah, here it is. It has two main spun bearings and one corner bearing. But more details I'm going to show when I do the full complete video about this engine because we're still waiting for the other engine. So just want to show you why these engines are consuming so much oil. So pretty much the owner probably going to buy a new engine. By new engine I mean on low mileage. Probably we are not going to reassemble this engine, but that's why I decided to remove the cylinder head and to show you how it looks like. Actually on cylinder number 3 and 5 we had some carbon deposits much more than the other ones. I have cleaned it up a little bit just to check the valves, but for sure we had some bad combustioning in these two cylinders. Probably was not so bad. Uh, this is the camshafts. Once again, if they are not bended, they should rotate freely without any tension on them. As these are, these are pretty fine, they feel pretty good, pretty free. So for sure they are straight. And here are the six pistons with the corn rods. This is once again the failed corn rod as we can see. And uh, when we are talking about a beefy corn rod, here it is. <laughs> this is pretty beefy. And what is the most common complaint on these engines? It turns out that a lot of people are complaining because of the oil consumption. So let me show you the cylinders inside. Once again, this engine is at roughly 300,000 kilometers. And if we take a closer look, we're going to see that the honing inside the cylinders is almost... is almost untouched as we can see it's pretty fresh yeah it has some small spots which is missing but believe me guys the home is here and we don't have almost nowhere on the cylinders so for sure the oil consumption is not die to the wear of the cylinders the honing is present i have seen much worse without almost no oil consumption and the reason that these engines his oil consumption is the clocked piston oil separator ring. So here it is, as we can see what is the gap between on this piston ring as we can see how much it is. I'm talking on the last piston ring, this one. You can clearly see what is the gap here. And let's go along on the other one. It's getting smaller. Here it is. It's almost none. As we can see here, the gap is almost zero. Uh, and here is a little bit wider. And uh, yeah, let's see, the last one is it's not so small. The, the smallest one is here. As we can see, the piston ring heaven opened up almost none. And the reason this is happening is because these piston rings are clogging up. And this is preventing the piston ring to expand and to catch all the oil on the cylinder walls. So when the piston oil piston ring cocks up, it cannot open up and cannot take all the oil residue on the cylinder wall. This is the most common issue with these engines. The piston ring is clogging up and it's not doing its job. 99% of the time, if you just take out the pistons, clean up the piston rings, especially, yeah, it's, it's not big of a deal on the compression rings. You cannot, uh, there is no issue with them. They are moving freely as we can see. Uh, hopefully the camera is catching because the white is not in our favor, but they are moving clearly There is no restriction on them, but the biggest issue is the cocked oil piston ring So yeah, this is the biggest issue on these engines lately because uh, yeah, when they was on 100,000 kilometers This is not going to be so present, but when you get on two or three hundred thousand kilometers This is going to be the issue the cocked piston rings so pretty much this was the main issue as we can see on this engine. This is why he have consumed 
oil. Uh, I forget how much it was consuming, but probably it was somewhere around, if I'm not mistaken, 3 liters on 10,000 kilometers, something like that. If I'm not mistaken, I need to ask the owner. Yeah, of course, it's possible the oil consumption to be from the valve seals, but most likely this is not going to be the case, guys. <laughs> Most of the time, you're going to change them. You're going to pay a lot of money to do this because it's not a simple job. If you want to do it while the engine is inside the car and you haven't removed the cylinder head, it's going to be expensive, guys, because it's really time consuming. Probably you are not going to see almost any effect on it because this engine is not operating on so hard temperature like the petrol ones, which temperature contributes to the brittle rubber of the seals. These engines are operating on 95-97 cone temperature, which yeah, is going to contribute a little bit, but not so much on this mileage. But for sure, the main reason, in my opinion, because I have seen it several times already, is the cogage of the oil piston rings. But if you want to do this still, it's going to be really expensive because as we can see, the engine should came apart fully, you're going to need to remove the cylinder head, the pistons, everything. This is going to be pretty much full, full service. Still, it's not going to be full because you're not going to regrind the, the cylinders and uh, you're not going to use uh, bigger diameter pistons. But still, it's really time and money involving. Why I prefer of just cleaning them up and not replacing them? First of all, because new OEM piston rings are kind of expensive for sure. And most of the time, the piston rings are not wearing out so much. So I have done this on two of my engines already. One of it is S54, which is running on much higher RPMs. I just cleaned up the cooked piston rings and the engine is running perfectly without almost any oil consumption. So yeah, in my opinion, the better solution is to just clean it up because replacing these piston rings, even let's say with aftermarket ones, it's not so simple job. You're going to replace them, but after that, you're going to need to break them up in the cylinder block. And still, because of the age, you're going to have some out of round on the cylinders. So for sure, it's still not going to be perfect because when you have out of round, the new piston ring is not going to sit up perfectly in the cylinder wall. Money-wise, still, you're going to need to drive the car in certain way, you're going to need to replace several oils until the engine is braked in completely and as it's supposed to be. So money and time-wise, it's not worth it. I think the best solution is to just clean up your piston rings if they are not damaged, of course, and reassemble back the engine how it was and just drive it. Probably it's not going to be 100% as it's a new one, but still it's going to be close as possible. This is why I always prefer to just clean them up and reassemble them back together, not changing the piston rings. If you are debating, do you want to replace them with the new ones, aftermarket ones? In my opinion, just better stay with the old ones and clean them up. The OEM ones are always better than the aftermarket ones, believe me guys, when you are talking about a stock engine. Just from word, even if you change your valve cover which includes the oil separator valve on the top which I don't know where it is right now actually uh, actually we have one more engine here let me show you so this at least this engine is a good condition so here it is here is the oil separator valve. Even you if you change your valve car, most of the time your engine is going to continue consume oil. Most of the time the main issue is not the turbocharger, which right now is removed. Here is the turbocharger on this car. This is with a single turbocharger, it's not with, a, uh, with a two turbochargers. Uh, but still, most of the time the issue is somewhere else. Not the notorious leak from the valve car, as we can see here, all of them are leaking from here and even if you change your gasket still is going to continue to leak as we can see along here everywhere is leaking because most of the time these valves are bending and you need to replace them we're going to see how we're going to do it the owner first want to check the bearings and the condition of the engine inside and then we're going to decide are we going to change the valve car probably we're going to do it if everything inside is okay okay so i want to keep the video short uh, this was why i wanted to record this video the Really common issue that these engines have lately, the oil burning complaint. Most of the time, this is going to be the issue, the clocked oil separator rings. So yeah, this is going to be guys. Sometimes it's going to be the turbochargers, 
but lately I've seen this a lot, the quaggage of the pista rings. So thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video.